I'm going to show you Google Docs aficionados how to make a graph along with error bars here uh, because you either don't own Excel or you don't want Excel because you're down with Google. So uh, here's my table, got my populations, mean and standard deviation are already calculated, the formulas average, equals average and equals STDEV, those formulas are just the same as Excel. Now I've recreated just a quick summary of the means along with the names of the two populations. That's because it's going to feed directly into my graph. So if I highlight all the four, it's got to be like this next to each other rather than vertical. I'll do insert, chart. I'm going to choose a column chart rather than a scatter plot so I can use error bars. Otherwise, it won't let me. Okay. And then um, under customize, so I'll go to customize. I've got some options here. So um, well, let me just insert it and I'll come back. I'm going to copy this table title because I'll use that for my chart title. You can actually just click right on it. Okay, so it's actually really easy to edit this stuff. I'm going to change table to figure. And now it's a comparison of the mean number of prey. But other than that, what? Dang it. Try again. Uh, mean. go. So yeah, hit enter. Left axis title, I'm going to change it. I'm going to call this the mean number prey caught in 24 hours. Enter. Boom. This one I'm just going to delete. Okay. There we go. So also if I want to make the graph bigger, you can see you can't read this all the way. You got to kind of just hover over by the edge until this arrow pops up. Right. So whoop, there it is. And then I just drag so we can stretch it out. I'm also going to stretch it down a bit because we don't want to get too rectangular here. Uh, it'll kind of distort the graph. So we want to kind of stick with what is mostly a square. Okay, so the slightly tricky part now we want to add error bars. So you're just going to have to remember these values because you'll have to type them into the box that pops up. So 1.05, 2.37, don't forget those numbers. I'm going to click over here now. I want to edit this graph when it lets me click sooner or later. Wait for it. Just click 800 times. Sooner or later, it'll work. Come on. There we go. Finally, advanced edit. And then we can scroll down. There's other options and stuff here. Like you can change the axis titles from in here, or you could slant your labels or something like that. But uh, we're not going to worry about that. We need to go all the way to the bottom here. Columns, population one, it's the blue color. If you want to change it, uh, you know, because that suits you better, great. But, you know, don't get too crazy with that. Just stick to the important stuff like your labels. So, error bars here, none. Well, we got to change that constant, but I don't want 10. I want 1.05, which is the value we calculated earlier. And then I can just go right here to population two. Um, I'm going to, you know, go for some beautiful colors here. Error bar is again constant, and now if you remember, what was that other number? It was 2.37, okay? So I'm gonna hit update, it'll automatically resize and adjust, and boom, everything looks nice there, okay? So now you can see, again, standard deviation, it measures how variable the population is. So their means are really quite close, but the standard deviation here is double population one. That means that population two if you look here, it's much more variable. You got anything from one all the way up to nine. These guys, it's all four, 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 five, 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 six, et cetera. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed it.